Uh, it's Taylor Bridges here back with another video, another review <laughs> of Bell Collective <laughs> season three, episode six, the sun J always rises. Y'all just finished watching this episode literally. So it's also fresh on my brain. It was a pretty decent episode, you know, for the fact that it was based on the aftermath of the fight that occurred at the Ella Trisa's wig launch. Um, it was pretty decent, but we need to move on after this episode. Okay, we're back at Latrice's wig launch. Honestly, I did expect more out of Latrice's event than what was shown thus far. We don't get to see what happens, but like from what we saw thus far, you know, the effort she put into like shading her cast members and all this stuff, like you would think it was going to be a top tier event. Um, especially when she promotes Goddess Lens as like a hair enterprise. To me, the event was lackluster. Anyways, so Gucci and Selena are going at it. Latrice pretends like she doesn't like the drama that's happening and as if she has no idea why any of this drama is ensuing, as if she hasn't been contributing to the drama, as if she hasn't been like instigating it. And I don't like that. I don't like that Latrice. It's Latrice, because Latrice is Tisha. I kind of mix them up sometimes. I don't like that Latrice. Um, so Gucci ends up somehow with glass in her, and there's blood, and now she has to go to the hospital. And to me, it could it was a lesson learned for Latrice. No, the lady's fighting was not Latrice's fault. But Latrice has been in the middle of this drama all smug and messy and and you know maybe so gucci should worry about why her husband wants selena and you know just playing this like double agent thing but like so gucci was supposed to be your friend enough for you to be like finding a like getting a commercial space through her so enough of a friend colleague whatever to be getting a, a building through her and now you're like intentionally placing yourself between her and her husband's ex-partner. I don't even know if Selena is, is so Gucci. I mean, it's, it's JJ's ex-wife. But eh. and now and like you've been you've been being very messy. And now that it's affected your business, your event, perhaps you'll learn how to stay out of it. Because Letitia thought she was gonna continue her show. Or Latrice, sorry. Latrice thought she was gonna continue her show. But the rest of the cast wasn't going to be there. They were going to accompany So Gucci to the hospital. So all, so again, all the shade that you were, you were, you were trying to throw at the cast members, you know, naming wigs after them in a not so positive fashion. It won't even get to land because they're not even going to be there for the reveal. So don't cry now. Remember how So Gucci needs to work up, needs to, needs to worry about her husband being in love with Selena. And all this other unkind stuff, keep that energy. Because it was your friend Selena who assaulted So Gucci with a glass. Your friend started with the physicality, which caused your event to get shut down. So just be sure to keep that energy with the proper party. Akeisha's husband Willie is back in town for working in New York and I think they make a really lovely couple super cute They have such a normal like nice household and I love to see it Like their lifestyle is really relatable for somebody like me, you know comfortable Normal household with you know long-term investments in place to to ensure that their comfortable lifestyle is maintained long term And I love to see it um, instead of just like, you know, just like the the overexertion of like all this wealth and designer and labels and all that stuff and then later down the line it comes out that y'all are poor you know like just be normal like average people have re lead really nice comfortable lives and that's all i love to see about akisha they already have generational wealth they, like he has his football money they've been doing their thing like but they live normal day to day and that's ob honestly and obviously how they keep their money long jj and so gucci are meeting up to speak about what went down at the party this I'm hoping that this scene was like the same day. Otherwise, it would have been weird for them to like have this conversation on another day as if they don't like live together in the same household and as if they haven't already um, 
disgusted. So I'm thinking this is like the same day. And so Gucci changed out of her clothes to film. That's what I'm thinking. Um, JJ, Selena, JJ said Selena wanted to go out a lot when they were together, right? And when the girls were growing up. So he practically raised the girls by himself with the help of Gucci. And I honestly believe JJ. I low-key got that kind of vibe from Selena from Bring It. And no, it's not because Selena was the light-skinned pretty girl. It was not that. Because on Bring It, it was like this whole era of like Selena being the light-skinned, thickums type of chick going against the other moms that were just different. They were bigger in size and all this kind of stuff. No, I'm not hating on Selena. I don't have a reason to hate on Selena. I got the vibes that Selena was just like not all that on the show like she like she was cool on the show and jj made her likable and she brought adversity to the show so that made her like character on the show interesting but like selena was annoying she was she gave entitled she gave spoiled like she just did from what i remember watching i was watching the show when i was younger when it first came out so i haven't watched it obviously in later years but from what i remember she was annoying um I'm raised my, by my grandmother, not my dad. So I can't, I, you know, I, I'm not like, I don't have like the JJ experience, but I believe him. Selena was kind of high to tell on Bring It. And I believe she wants, I believe she might want JJ back. Like Selena is beautiful, yes. And she's socially, you know, favorable, right? But sometimes the women that we, you know, the socially acceptable women don't get that much luck. They don't get the men that they want and expect in the dating world the way we would assume they do. And Selena has given off an unpleasant air. From what I've observed. And though we may laugh at, you know, JJ's struggling plats that he has in his head, I do see and believe he has charisma. He has a sense of providence. And he gives security that Selena could possibly miss after all these years without it. And I'm going to believe that until I see otherwise. Like, yeah, maybe in the moment Selena was ready to get away from JJ. And now that she's getting older, time has passed. She might start having a new affinity for him all over again. Because that's the father of her children. Like, Selena and Gucci not speaking is childish. In itself. But to throw a glass on your ex-husband's wife while your daughter is present is pathetic and immature. And I know people like have, you know, when they've given their reviews, they felt like so Gucci should have spoken. That's fine. Fine. But throwing a drink with your, especially with your own child present is ghetto. I don't care how you put it. It's whack. Sanjay would have watched. Her mom get handcuffed if it were me. Just so it's clear on where I stand when it comes to throwing glass. Selena would have been going to jail for the weekend while I was on the way to the emergency room. That's what would have happened. Let it be clear. Grow up. I don't speak to you that it's not give you permission to throw a glass and assault me. You're going to jail. And your daughter can go with you. Like, no. I think Selena might think she's more superior than Gucci. In, in you know, when, it, when she's speaking. But her actions, Selena is given insecure. And is given you want that old thing back. And you expected JJ to be into you, but he's not budging. And now I'm thinking, did Latrice really slice so Gucci on the commercial building because of Selena? Because Latrice is just as conniving as Selena. They like that mean girl, shady behavior, so I wouldn't really be surprised. Just like JJ said, Latrice gives envious vibes, especially when she keeps mentioning how JJ still wants Selena. When clearly your husband Cliff wanted Selena too, but you won't discuss that. And I hope so Gucci makes it a thing at the reunion. Watching this, I'm really, really triggered by all the hateration among these black women. 
And I'm also not a fan of speaking on other people's husband out of pure spite and shade, knowing you wouldn't want that done to you. Latrice, especially on a reality show, it could cause really unnecessary, like some super unnecessary drama and security. And that's not fair because Latrice of all people could not handle any drama or tea about Cliff. But since nobody else wants Cliff but you, you're, you're on the safe side for now because nobody wants him but you. Nobody wants Lizard but you. Whether right or wrong, I'm glad that JJ has so Gucci's back against Selena. Because yes, Selena is the mother of his children, but Selena threw a, wife, threw, threw a glass on his current wife and she should have controlled herself. I don't care what I say. You throw a glass on me, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. Okay? Let, let that be very clear. Control yourself. Y'all on a reality show, y'all throw shade, y'all go blow flows, y'all do that. And in this instance, all the lady did was not speak to you. And you're acting like you still want JJ. Because I'm not fighting any woman over an ex of mine. I don't care what's going on. You won't see it. Especially if it's so childish as your current woman not speaking to me. I could care less. I'm not potentially going to jail over that by throwing a glass and your daughter is there. Grow up, Selena. That's why JJ don't want your behind no more. You can be as pretty as can be. But you seem to be childish and on some rah-rah. Ghetto. What does Letitia do? I'm really curious to understand. So far, she has these scenes at her office, and it's, it's just really disingenuous and 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 low key mediocre. I'm just I'm not seeing anything real about Letitia's entrepreneurship, but her wig looks really good in the scene she had with that mentor. Her wig looked really good. I wasn't mad at the hairline at all. Letitia wants to say how they are Southern bells and they're classy, but yet you have your husband popping up on you at random moments, causing a scene. So you can't speak on no class or nothing. Now we're at Marie's um, um, a daughter's dance practice with one of the other at one of the other uh, popular dance studios in Mississippi. I remember the Diamonds, something like that. Diamonds. They were uh, rivaling the dancing dolls on Bring It. So it's really cool having another studio, you know, down there in um, Mississippi. Get that recognition. So that's really good. Um, so Gucci is meeting her there and they're recapping Latrice's event. I honestly feel like so Gucci's reaction to the event was the most realistic of her, Latrice and Selena. I think so Gucci is more so living in reality, whether right or wrong. I think she's living in reality and she's behaving naturally, which I can appreciate. I don't like the fake stuff. And I'm not saying so Gucci is all real, but she doesn't seem as fake as Latrice. Latrice hanging with Tamra shows how disingenuous she is because nobody else is feeling Tamra precisely because she's a liar. Latrice is justifying Selena ruining her own event. Selena ruined your event, Latrice, but you're defending her. And you're saying she was triggered and saw red instead of holding her grown ass to the standard of behaving like an adult, even when someone doesn't speak to you. Not, someone not speaking to you does not warrant you throwing a glass. It, it does not. You're okay. <laughs> Let me not. Okay. Let me not speak to somebody. And they throw a glass. You're going to jail. And I won't rest until you do. Because you're going to learn to control yourself when it comes to me. I don't care how much I don't speak to you. That, but that just, that, but like the fact that Latrice sees Gucci as a problem, it just shows how delusional you are. Your homegirl ruined your event, but you can't even see that. Your homegirl, Selena. And Latrice, I have a strong feeling life is going to really humble you the hard way. Because you, you, you really operate like you live in a glass house. I'm not really liking it. I cannot stand People like that. Latrice is really 
She's so judgmental. She's throwing all this shade. She's doing all this. Please be ready when it comes back to you. Please be ready. Because that pendulum swings. Tambra with the scene with Latrice, she's not saying anything helpful or genuine. So I don't care about her take on the matter. Tamara needs to worry about controlling her lies before weighing in on anybody else's. Glenn is back in the studio and JJ has been in about the women's drama. The fact that JJ has been with So Gucci since 2005, which is about 20 years ago, there's really no excuse for this mess. JJ, you may be a great man these days, but it's giving you might have been messing with Selena in the beginning or something. Because Selena is behaving like she didn't expect you to be around with this lady this long. Like, it seems like, I don't know. I'm not trying to put that on JJ because that's not fair. But I'm like, what's something, something's going on. Selena is really pressed behind JJ. So it's given, yeah, y'all been together. You and So Gucci been together almost two years, 20 years. But there might have been a little overlap. That's what it's giving. I don't know for sure, but like the way Selena is pressed 20 years later, it, it's given a little overlap. Glenn should drop the mic and not pick it back up. Pick up a fish on, on, the, on, the, on, on the boat with your wrinkly head. Um, I'm feeling most of the ladies getting along this season so far. Marie's daughter has held help from Sanjay. With her daughter's dancing. And I like that Marie invited Sanjay to meet with Soguchi. I felt like it wasn't done with messy intentions. And it made sense naturally. Right? But also Soguchi. Children aren't going to see the situation the way you do. Even though Sanjay is an adult. Like that's. Selena still her mom. So you have a responsibility to behave as an adult around the kids. Period. Like you. Yes you should have spoke to Selena. Like you cool with, you cool with Sanjay. So, like, what were you thinking was going to happen? Like, I know me. If I'm with my mama, you're not speaking to me and not speaking to my mama. And I'm supposed to speak back and be all hunky dory. I'm not hugging you. Nothing. Like, that's rude. Like, grow up, So Gucci. Come on. You know better than that. If you were with your grown daughter and a woman came up wanting to speak to the daughter and not you, it would be a problem. Like, so stop it. You claim you want to be all cordial and do it for the kids. Well, be, act like you got some sense. You want to keep the kids out of it. Then when the kids are around, speak. How, what's so hard? How much does it take out of you to say, hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies. And push. So I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it, So Gucci. Sanjay comes over. She greets Marie. And she doesn't initially greet So Gucci. I don't blame her based on her perspective, from her perspective. And it's not her situation to remedy or get in the middle of. Selena, Sogucci, and JJ should be doing all of this. I think Sanjay's reaction was natural. I think she's seeing things quite, quite clearly. Though it doesn't justify Selena throwing a drink at all. And that's what Sanjay needs to keep in mind as she's growing up. Your mom would have been put behind bars messing with the right person. I don't care who I did or didn't speak to. Throw a drink at me and watch how I ensure your life is altered. Watch. Watch. With your daughter there. So that's, I, I draw the line with that. I don't care what So Gucci did. You're not throwing a glass and thinking it's cool. It's foul. Violent and ghetto. And you're a criminal. Because it's assault. But. That was the review of the episode. It was a cool episode, especially since the episode was fixated on the beef with So Gucci and Selena. It moved pretty decently. It wasn't just like a total bore. I don't want this storyline being dragged out because I don't care enough unless there's some real resolve that's going to take place. But that's the end of our review. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.